High camembert, we make with pure Jersey milk. Um, so it's lovely and creamy. Uh, it's a beautiful golden straw colour to it as well. So what we've done is pasteurised our milk. Um, we pasteurise at the lowest temperature that you can under the health regulations, which is 63 degrees. We have what we call a batch pasteuriser. So um, it's a bowl, the milk comes into the bowl, it just gets gently um, and slowly agitated, and the water gets pumped through this jacket here. So to get it up to 63 degrees, we have hot water sitting at about 80 degrees that comes through this jacket. Uh, and then to bring it back down in temperature, we're pumping really cold water through this jacket. Okay, we've got our temperature down to the right point to add our cheese culture. Uh, so culture is essentially just a combination of a couple of different strains of bacteria that's going to create the texture and the taste that you want. So we pop it in at this stage. You want to sprinkle it over as much of the surface as you can. And then we leave it for five minutes to rehydrate because it is a freeze-dried um, culture. And then we'll stir it through. Okay, so we're now adding our rennet to our camembert. Um, rennet essentially is what sets the milk. So that creates a curd. And what we do is dilute our rennet down with cold boiled water. Because um, it's, it's a really strong substance. So in order to get it to work evenly throughout the milk, you need to dilute it. So we just pour this over as much of the surface of the milk as we can. So we'll stir it for between one and three minutes and then we'll turn our paddle off and keep our milk um, as still as can be for at least half an hour. By then we should have a nice set. Right, we're about to test to see if our curd is ready to cut. So what we're gonna do is slide this in and do what they call a tea cut. What we want to do is lift this and see a nice separation. Um, it's nice-ish. Um, <laughs> I'm going to progress ahead and cut it because um, essentially sometimes if you cut a softer curd you'll actually lose a little more moisture from it and because we've got such a heavy creamy milk being springtime at the moment that won't be such a bad thing. Um, is when you make your camemberts, if you do make them with too much moisture, when they grow their little fuzzy white coat, there's too much moisture in the curd, the coat actually just slides off and you can't keep it on the cheese. So I am going to cut this now. So we're cutting our curd now, where it's set nicely. Okay. This is one of the best parts of making cheese. It just slides through like a melted butter on it. So this is our vertical cut, I'll repeat this on the other side, and then we'll do a horizontal cut with our other cheese wire. Okay, so we've cut our curd. Um, we've let it sit for five minutes because we really don't want to disturb it straight after we've cut it, otherwise it's going to shed a lot of weight. Um, so we've let it sit, it's a little cut, cut wound, I guess it's sealing over. So now we just want to gently turn it over. You can see it's what a lovely big lump. And it's just delightful and soft, um, super creamy. Because again, these jerseys um, don't know how to do anything else. So it's, we just want to turn it over really gently. And basically, we're going to repeat this another two times um, with a bit of time in between, just so again, we don't um, we don't lose too much moisture out of the curd. So we've turned our cheese over a couple of times now. You can see it's sitting right down in the way, um, sitting down about here. And the texture of it, it's holding its shape a little better. Um, so it's firmed up just a slight amount. It's still incredibly soft. Um, but basically what we're going to do from here is we're actually going to add some hot water. So it's um, pasteurised hot water. And what that will do is we want to lift the curd temperature up to around 35, 36 degrees. And that's just going to help, um, I guess, contract that curd down a little more. And um, I 
I say, just lose a bit more moisture without losing too much because we don't want to have a little white fuzzy brick. Uh, and the water will actually help dilute the lactic acid down a bit, so it will be a sweeter result. So your, your cheese will actually be a bit sweeter. So we basically just pour our hot water through and I'll repeat that another couple of times just to basically add enough water to start diluting that lactic acid and to bring that curd temperature up and then we're ready to pull our curd out and start packing into our moulds. These are our camembert moulds. Um, so they call this part the draining tray. And then we've got the draining mat, which basically um, it's got these ziggy ziggy bits <laughs> that sit the mat up just a little so whatever drains out can get away. And this nice little pattern side sits up against the cheese. And then you pop one of these on top. So this is basically what our curd goes into. So these are all individual little camembert moulds that have all been plastic welded together. So there's 30 of them to a tray. And um, so our curd will go into that. And then another mat sits on top and then the tray sits on top of that. And as you said later on, we sort of flip them around a little bit as well. Okay, so now we're ready and I think I've got uh, the curd into its little moulds. So we basically just keep repeating the process until these are full and then we'll do an extra top up because it will start sitting down and sinking down so we'll top up um, two to three times. Here we are with our little camemberts in their mould. So I've topped this up probably about three times now. Um, and when I say top up, we just keep adding curd onto the tray here um, and just mounding it up over these little hoop parts. And basically as that curd drains, it sinks down in that hoop. So the more that we keep adding, then the, uh, the heavier our camemberts end up. And we'll actually get that really lovely softening and that oosiness um, around near the rind of the camembert. All right, so our curd has essentially we've topped it up three times. It's drained nicely. They've slumped down into their moulds. So now we gently lift our little funnel up. Now they look a bit crazy. And then we pop a second one of these draining mats in a draining tray on top. Make sure that's firmly down. And then everything going well. I shouldn't make a horrible sound and I should just get this out. So now if we have a little sneak peek at what's going on. These are lovely little wheels of camembert. So these guys will sink down into their little moulds. We're starting to pop down already. Um, we'll repeat this process two to three times um, during the seasoning. Um, yeah, probably three times. So tomorrow they'll actually be like little hairless wheels of, of camembert and um, then we'll show you the next process which is brining and then they dry and then they go into the special room where they start growing their, their coats and developing their flavour and texture.